Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Shehzad Zareen, lecturer in Department of Zoology. Cast. Today our topic is uh, Darwinism. Darwinism is also called uh, Theory of Natural Selection, which was presented by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was an English naturalist during his voyage on Beagle to explore the Earth. Uh, you know the word voyage is used for uh, aquatic journey, while Beagle uh, is the name of a royal uh, sea ship. So during his voyage uh, to explore the Earth, he visited Galapagos Island and other regions of the world. Uh, to study the origin of the species even he uh, wrote a book uh, named or entitled uh, origin of species in which uh, Darwin explained that how species are evolved from their ancestral uh, species this map shows the journey of the Darwin's Beagle uh, he almost covered all important regions of the earth to study different animals and their origin uh, there are a uh, few points of Darwinism, that is Darwin's theory of natural selection. The very first point is uh, prodigality of nature. It means that organisms uh, have an extensive rate of multiplication or reproduction. Uh, the production of organisms are far way um, greater than the requirement by the environment. Uh, let's take the example of an elephant. Elephant is the among uh, slowest breeder of the uh, earth which breed between 30 to 100 years it means in its 70 fertile years one single couple of elephant produce uh, can produce six offsprings if all these six offsprings survive uh, and reproduce normally it take about 750 years to produce 19 million elephants by the same couple of parents Salmon is a fish which can produce 2 crore 80 lakh eggs in a single season. Another example of prodigality of nature is the green fly. Uh, it is estimated by Huxley that if all green flies survive in a single season, they will be same weight as population of China. Similarly, uh, an oyster can produce 11 crore 40 lakh eggs in a single season. Um, Wardrop uh, estimated that if all paramecium survive, they will be as much as thousand times of the volume of the earth. But these numbers do not reach to the calculated size, you know. Why? Because every organism cannot survive. Mortality is a factor which reduces the animal uh, number. Some of the animals are eaten by others. Rest of them do not survive. Only few organisms win this game. The second point of the Darwinism is struggle for existence. You know struggle uh, is very much important for existence of an animal. Uh, there are three basic types of struggles. That is intraspecific struggle, interspecific struggle and environmental struggle. The intraspecific struggle is that which occurs within the member of the same species. This struggle is uh, for food, for space, and maybe for shelter. Uh, while interspecific struggle is that one which occurs uh, among the members of other species or different species. Uh, while environmental struggle is against the moisture, lightning, fire, earthquake, and something like that. There is another thing, cannibalistic approach or cannibalism. Cannibalism is a phenomena in which an organism eats its own offsprings or sibling. These pictures are showing cannibalism. Uh, here a polar bear, a cheetah and a crocodile is uh, they are eating their members of their own species. The third point of uh, Darwinism is variation. Uh, variation is a slight change uh, or slight difference in something. It is estimated that variation is the progressive factor which leads to evolution. You know no two organisms are same. There must be some difference among them. There are two types of mutation uh, variations, uh, continuous variation and discontinuous variation. Continuous variation is that type of variation uh, which has uh, a slight change in their continuity like uh, height, skin color. Uh, for example, height may be uh, 1 feet or maybe 2 feet or maybe 3 feet, 4, 5, 6 and so on. 
similarly skin color skin color may be light uh, it may be dark it may be wheatish it may be chocolatey so this is a sort of continuous variation while discontinuous variation are those which have a uh, discrete difference uh, between them there is no continuity uh, for example uh, blood group uh, or shape of an individual uh, like blood group blood group may be a or maybe uh, b or maybe a, it, it 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 may be a b or it may be o so there is a discrete difference there is no continuity uh, among all blood groups the fifth and an important point of the uh, darwin's theory is uh, natural selection or survival of the fittest uh, the term natural selection was coined by darwin while uh, survival of the fittest was coined by herbert spencer it states that those organisms uh, which have capability uh, to fit uh, in the environment they will survive and they will propagate their offsprings and those which do not have ability to stay in the uh, tough environment they will be eliminated simple you can say that nature selects fittest organisms for the uh, environment darwin gave uh, another important idea about heredity and called it as a theory of pangenesis According to this theory, uh, there are small, multiple small particles uh, in every part of the body that carry the information of that particular organ uh, where they are present. Uh, they move in the bloodstream, they reach towards the gametes uh, at the time of uh, reproduction. They give information of all respective organs to the egg and sperm and they have an important role in organogenesis of the zygote. Darwin's theory is worldwide acceptable, but uh, it has certain criticisms on it. The first important criticism is that it do not have any experimental proof. The second one is that uh, Johannesson tried to enhance the size of the paramecium by selecting larger one every time, but there was no imp improvement. Similarly, uh, Locke tried uh, to increase the size of the sugar cane initially he did it but later on he uh, it, it went constant um, no changes could be done in genetically pure plant it means that uh, uh, natural selection is uh, for no use moreover uh, darwin's theory of natural selection didn't explain the causes of variation natural selection didn't explain higher complex organs like uh, in electric eel like how they produce electricity this theory uh, dwells on inheritance of acquired characters which is almost false Darwin's theory didn't explain mimicry the occurrence of vestigial organ was also not explained by Darwin's theory of natural selection and last but not the least there was no proof of theory of pangenesis there were some scientists like uh, Wallace Huxley Heckel Wiesman uh, they called themselves uh, as uh, neo-darwinians in 1900s they were strong supporters of the darwinism uh, because they have uh, strong evidences to prove darwinism they proved the uh, production of artificial variety of animals for meat and milk which is called uh, artificial selection if artificial selection is uh, being operated in uh, in a very small scale how come it is possible that natural selection is not working they discovered a 600 meter zone uh, in australia which was divided in eight stages that consist of shell and shellless mollusk the shellless mollusks was uh, were present in that area where uh, they uh, didn't have any predator while the shelled mollusks were present in that area that region uh, where uh, there were so many predators it means that uh, shells of the mollusks can uh, are, were used to protect the mollusks from the predators and this is what is called survival of the fittest in another experiment sensual affixed uh, green mantis and uh, brown mantis and different color mantis on the plants uh, those whose color was harmonious with the background survived the rest of them were killed by their predators Similarly, uh, Davenport reared black, white, and checkered uh, chicken in the field. Black and white uh, chicken were eaten by the hawk. Rest of them survived because uh, their color was harmonious with the background. 
According to Weldon, uh, because of variation caused by the natural selection and changes in the environment, new species are formed. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any queries or questions, you can post them.